Hello and a warm welcome. My name's Nick Jones and I'm the Pet Behaviourist to Pet Plan. In this short video, we will look at the ways in which your dog reacts and copes with callers to the front door. With so many deliveries these days, this is a common question that I'm asked. So let's break this down and look at some ways in which you can build your dog up to cope and to have success when you have callers at the door. So a key component to get this whole exercise working nicely for you is to ensure that your dog understands the go to bed or send to bed. I, in this instance, will say on your mat uh, because it's not a bed as such. So you can change the words if you like. But if you know that you can send your dog onto a bed or a mat, albeit when it's relatively calm without a caller at the door, that's a good first stage and we can then begin to build it up. Now I have a little pot of chicken here. Ruby loves chicken and I'm sure she'll give you some nice demonstrations. Remember to start at short distances and then to make it more difficult as your dog improves. So over here, sit. On the mat. Good. Soon she's on the mat. Reward. We'll bring her over here again. Sit. On the mat. Good. Da -da -da. Stay. Okay. Then we can begin to do this from slightly further distances and also to get her to stay here slightly longer. Now what you can also do is to begin to implement the stay command and maybe to do some knocks at the door even though the dog knows it's me this with dogs which are quite reactive will press their buttons and make them bark and run stay it reward the dog constantly good we also have a front doorbell here which i'll activate stay good <laughs> So there are other tools that you can also use to help give you the control and calmness that you're looking for in and around the front door. Let me show you how you could attach a regular lead to the banister of the stairs. It depends on the layout of your home, but this type of thinking could also help you, especially when combined with the send to bed command. Ruby on the mat, sit. This lead here is simply attached to a banister at an appropriate height. It depends on the size of the dog. Stay. So that's on Ruby now. If I'm now coming to the door, stay. I have access and the dog cannot get up to the door or run out of the door. Ruby, stay. Hi, thank you very much. What a good girl. She's a good girl. Yes. Another tool you can use is a baby gate, but it depends on how that would work in relation to the front door. For us, conveniently, we have a baby gate behind the back of the hallway, and I'll just show you how I would send Ruby onto that for you. Ruby, in bed. 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 Stay. Good girl. Good girl, stay. So to wrap this up, let me demonstrate to you a very quick example of what you might be hoping to achieve further down the line. Remember to practice, practice, practice. The send to beds, the dry process is really where you need to do all the practice and then to gradually introduce the concept of real callers at the door that you're expecting and I say expecting because this gives you a much better chance of proactively controlling the circumstances which should lead to success. Ah, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Stay. Good. Good stay. Good. 